In this video, we'll see about how to use the control statement in a web program. In real-time scenario, most of the case, we have to compare the conditions and based on the conditions, we have to write some logic. So in that case, we can make use of control statement. So we'll see two type of control statement in this. One is how to use the if, else, if, else condition types, uh, else. And second, we'll see how to use the case and end case concepts. Both we'll see and we'll also observe the difference in that. So let's get the program and go to SC38 with the program name as ZUD underscore, let's say control, control syntax. Click on create. Let's say control syntax. As you will program, save local objects. So here I will be creating one selection screen parameter and based on the value which is entered on the selection screen, I will show how to write the if else statement. So how to create a selection screen parameter? So what is selection screen? Just open any T code, let's say MMVE. So this is called a selection screen. And if on the selection screen, if you see any single field, here we cannot have the range like plant. If you see the plant, we have here form and to ID. And also it is giving option for the multiple selections. So this is called a select option. If you want this type of functionality, this of a screen, you have to use select options. And if you want only single field, then we have to use parameter. So here I will create a parameter on the selection screen. Parameters, let's say P underscore integer type I. I'm taking one integer value of type I. The length of this parameter can be up to eight character maximum. We can have maximum eight character. Just activate effect to so cache selection screen parameter here now if you want to assign some text here like here we can see as a material plant like that then here go to text element here let's say input value Go back. Now here I will write start of selection and end of selection. So first we will see about the if else if condition. So how to write the if else if condition? Here simply I will compare the value of this parameter. Let's say if p underscore int is greater than 10 then simply write value of the input field is greater than 10 comma okay give a color here we'll assign some color let's say color 5 and after comma I am writing the p integer in the integer So what I'm doing here, I'm comparing the which value user enter. If it is greater than 10, then write this statement. Second, else if p underscore int, let's say I'm checking if it is between 5 and 10, then I will write here value of the input field is between 5 to 10 okay this time I'm use some other, other color that's a 3 and else and if we can add n number of if else if type 
okay then i will write here write value of the input fill is less than 5 okay let's say color this time 7 and print the p underscore input value so what system will do whenever we execute the program our system will check the first if condition if the value is greater than 10 then system will print this value and after printing this it will come out of this if statement because this if statement is successfully satisfied now in case the value is not greater than 10 system will come into this else if block there can be any number of else if block and it will check if the value is between 5 and 10 it will print this value so if both the conditions are fail then by default for any value system will print the else record so the execution is start from the first if then else if and now the condition satisfied it will print the else part all right this is activated now let's execute so i am entering the value as let's say 7 so if, if i enter 7 it is showing as the value of the input field is between 5 to 10 because i enter as 7 even if i enter 5 it will print the same because it's still this value is between 5 to 10 now if i enter 11 now we can see the value of the input field is greater than 10 because I enter as the 11 and if I enter as 3 executes now you can see the value of the input field is less than 5 that is the value is 3 so in this way we can use the if else if control statement now let's see what is about the second one that is the case concepts in case of case we have to write syntax like like this right here case p underscore input here system will check what is the value of this variable the major difference between the main difference between if else and the case statement is that we cannot write the logic we cannot write the logical statement for the case and case concepts like here we can compare we can write the logic based on requirement but if you want to use the case statement we cannot write the logic it will simply compare directly the value of this field and accordingly it will print let's say case p underscore input so when it is let's say 10 it will print the value will print as value of the input field is 10 okay now when let's say it is 5 so we'll write the value of the input field is equal to is 5 now if none of the condition are satisfied then we have to write like this when others like here we have else like that in the case in case we have to lie uh, we have to print others the value of the input field is is not 5 not 5 and 10 okay and then finally we have to close this by writing a in case syntax writing a in case And let's add here let's say skip three lines let's print a new line here search check and activate the main difference between the if and if else control statement and the case is that we cannot write any logical statement when using the case and case concepts and one method is like if you have let's say a chain of else if else if statement and if the first condition fail system goes for checking the second if second fail it goes third like this 
if your 50 if else statement it will check all the condition one by one by one but in case of case statement let's say you have 50 number of cases here system jumps directly to the respect to case okay we'll understand after uh, in debugging so let's first execute this one if it is 10 the value is 10 if it is 5 value is 5 otherwise this one let execute so first time i'm entering as 11 so you can see the if uh, you can see in the if else statement it is print the value is greater than uh, field value is more than 10 and for the case and case it's printed the value of the input field is not 5 not 10 it is 11 now let me enter x 5 execute you can see the value of the input field is 5 and for the if else it is between 5 to 10 okay so like this we can use if else if and the case and case control statement in our program this is very helpful for the in almost all the program at least we use if else if or case statement we might require so in this way we're done with the session that is control statement in sap ABAP program thank you